What about using a UPS for a power conditioner? Yes, that has certainly been thought of and asked before. And the particular question comes from Enrique in Santiago, Chile. And Enrique writes, since you have opined about the importance of having a clean AC power for our hi-fi gear and considering the fact that not all of us can afford an excellent solution like your power plant, we have to consider alternatives, as you mentioned, filters or similar devices from well-known audio brands. Uh, but what about a UPS? Those devices uh, that you use with a computer, that's a, an uninterruptible power supply. Since they regulate the voltage, clean the power, and check constantly the sine wave, uh, when necessary. The good thing of this solution is, if it's feasible, that there are quite a few affordable models. And yes, that is true. In fact, there is, uh, used to be anyway, a company that bought a double conversion sine wave uh, uh, generating UPSs out of China and put a fancy faceplate on them and called them AC power regenerators. And in fact, they are. They, they truly, uh, that's what double conversion means, so that they, that's a term that the UPS guys use. Generally, they, uh, well, so uh, the, the double conversion means that it goes from AC to DC, from DC back to AC, and that is unlike a typical power, uh, UPS power device, which uh, was, is just called a, um, oh, what is that, gosh, I used to know all this stuff. I don't remember. But anyway, the, 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 the uh, less expensive UPSs use a modified square wave, a stepped square wave, pretty ugly for the few minutes or seconds that you may be offline. And it's okay for a computer. It'll, it'll run it fine. And, but the more expensive ones, the double conversion jobs, they actually produce a decent looking sine wave, maybe 1%, 2% distortion on that sine wave. And here's the problem. Uh, in, in one sense, yes, they will absolutely work. It really depends on what you are trying to power. If you're trying to use a UPS device to improve the power quality coming out of the wall, as our power plants do, then you need to make sure that the load is not something that's going to upset it. And what do I mean by that? So different loads have different power factors, and a power factor uh, simply means a measure of the voltage and the current following each other. So it's on a scale of, of basically zero to one. So a power factor of one means that the voltage and the current being drawn are in sync. They're identical to each other. Now that's a light bulb or a resistive load, an electric heater, might have a power factor of one. And if that's the case, and you're okay with that 1% distortion um, that they have, which is probably not, it's probably better than what comes out of the wall, then yeah, that, that'll work pretty well. But if you have a lower power factor, uh, 0.7 is very typical, where the voltage and the current don't follow each other. So the voltage is rising on, this is on the incoming AC sine wave. The voltage is rising up and the current is not doing anything. And then right at the very peak of the sine wave, all of a sudden you take a lot of current. And that's very typical of a standard rectifier based power supply where you just have a, a rectifier and a set of power supply capacitors. And those capacitors uh, need to be topped up. They, they don't, only on, on initial turn on do you need to fill those caps. So on every cycle, there is plenty of power left in the caps. And then as you get up near the peak of the sine wave, it has to be topped off, if you will. And now you're gonna charge that cap. And that's why it draws current only at the peak of the sine wave. And that's called uh, a power factor of 0.7. And there, those devices don't do well at all. In fact, they are often worse than what comes out of the wall. If you take a power amplifier with a power factor of 0.7, a typical power amplifier, class AV, 
then what happens is you'll actually get up, depending on how much current you're drawing, you can get upwards of 10% distortion with a big divot coming out at the top because those devices are basically class D amplifiers and they can't uh, provide enough current uh, to fill in the missing peak of the sine wave, which is the whole point of a power plant in the first place. So in short answer, yes, you can use that, but if you do, just be aware that you may be in worse shape than what you started. So my best advice is instead of going that route, if you can't afford a power plant, I understand, uh, get a real good uh, filter that will at least clean the AC. Now that won't solve the major problems of AC power, which is that very same thing, just filling in that peak and without the, the flat top sine wave that you, you typically get in the home. And you will get some benefit out of it. You all, filters also have the downside where they kind of rob the system of a little bit of dynamics. So it's a trade-off. You know, a proper filter will give you better sonic performance in one area and a little worse in another. It's not a true fully analog sine wave regenerator like the power plant. But, so it just really depends on the load. Hope that helps. Thanks. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Oh, by the way, we're, we're in our new building. So this, this, this is sort of the engineering area over here, and somebody's working on, this is Tom's area, and he's working on a, well, a direct stream junior, and I don't know what he's got going on. So, all right, we'll see you tomorrow.